Hey there guys, in this video we're going to be going back to Dark Dragon and doing another all mission clear. This time we're not going to be using Olive and we're not going to be using Manufactured Nethocyte. So we're going to be taking a um, Sukiko friend and we're going to be going with Double Sukiko 2B. Uh, Veritas of the Flame for the tanking stuff, and then Reagan for breaking. If you have Kuja, he is way better than Reagan. I don't have Kuja. So, we're going with Reagan. Okay, so what we're going to do is Veritas of the Flame from Carbuncle is going to cast Bar for Rega to give us fire resist. We're going to use Reagan to do his LB for 87 breaks and a 140 light in peril. 2B is going to, in the base form, do True Charge, Pod, and uh, Riot. We're going to use one of the Sukikos to Omamori, Light in Peril Field, and Light in Bu. Other Sukiko will Omamori, um, Protection, and Purification. Alright, so um, we're provoking with Evasion, Veritas of the Flame. Uh, he absorbs all the fires, that makes that super easy. And he's also going to be doing fire resist um, and then needles as well. So we're going to go ahead and do 1,000 needles for the Mirage. We're going to have Reagan put up his 88% break just to get it out the way. And we're going to start dealing some damage with our Sukikos. Now we only need Nethocyte every 5th turn above 50%. Let's go ahead and do the shifted LB of 2B to put up... Um, her modifier buffs and the friend frog is really really heavy on these dumb auto cast it's unfortunate <laughs> but it's fine uh, we're gonna go ahead and triple solar flare I'm gonna go ahead and chain this up a little bit of damage here we're gonna be doing a little bit better damage once Reagan's SOB is online for a slightly higher um, light and peril but overall, we're not going to have the greatest damage in this clear, but we should still get it in 15 turns. And there's the accuracy stuff that we're um, um, eating with Veritas of the Flame, so it's totally fine. Okay, so Veritas of the Flame, we'll just go ahead on this turn and reapply Bar Ferrega just to keep it active. Um, let's go back to the base form with 2B, where we're going to... We're going to go ahead and just jump her Magnus right now. So big Magnus and double R40. Reagan will just triple bolting here because whatever. Let's see. Let's do some damage on our Sukikos as well. And Reagan's not geared for damage. He's literally just helping to build the chain quicker. Okay. And some damage here. And then we'll get a nice chunk when 2B does her uh, big 150 amp burst this coming turn. There's the AoE attack that we miraged um, because of the needles. All right, let's go ahead and use the SLB of Reagan to put up a bigger in peril. Um, let's go ahead and do needles again with Root of the Flame. Let's do base form LB of 2B, and then the Sukikos will triple Solar Flare just for more damage. So damage, damage, damage. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the Sukikos first to build that chain a little bit, then send the 2B and jump in there. So a little bit of damage here. Um, that'll be our biggest burst of the fight. It'll go downhill from here, but we should still be overall fine. Now, here comes turn five. Turn five is going to be the Nethocyte turn. Now, here's the tricky thing. If you're using magic attacks on the boss, like, like actual magic spells, um, evocation doesn't count. Things like Olive's physical magic doesn't count. But real magic, for example power to destroy Nethocyte will trigger an Ultima counter, but that's okay because we're going to double Nethocyte, so we're going to trigger an Ultima, one of the Nethocytes will, will eat the Ultima, and the second Nethocyte, um, power of Nethocyte from Ash's STMR is going to um, eat the Dispel. Uh, these are permanent items, Ash's STMR, you can UOC them if you don't have them. Um, we're not relying on the limited time manufactured Nethocyte materia that you know a lot of players don't have. Um, as far as the rest of the party, we're just going to keep dealing some damage. So we're going to go ahead and trip. We're going to um, we're going to triple R40 this turn. Let's see. Sukiko will turn five. Yeah, turn five. We still have the imbue and all. So we're going to go ahead and just triple 
damage here. And we'll just deal some damage here. It's not going to be a ton of damage, um, but, you know, it's good enough. All right, there we go. I'm a little concerned, honestly speaking, about the, the turn count here because we're using bad breaks and all. But there's the Ultima counterattack. We nethocited it. And then the Dispel, we're going to have the second Nethocyte from Ash's STMR. We were not Dispel. We have all our buffs still. So there we go. Um, let's see. Reduce the Flame. We'll now go ahead and put up Bar Ferrega. Uh, let's have 2B do her Amp, Pod, and Charge. Let's have Reagan. Um, we don't need to do anything with Reagan. Let's go back to the base form with our Sukikos, where what we're going to do, Omomori, let's see, and Light, and I guess, you know, we don't have to do this with both of them, so we'll just have one of them do that while the other one deals damage. So let's go ahead and have Frog go to the base form. So Frog will Omomori, will imbue, and we'll have him put up his field so that it's still there for the rest of the fight. And we will just triple Karmic or Solar Flare on mine while Reagan will support chain with Bolting. All right, we just finished. A little bit of damage here. Okay, 58%. Some attacks on uh, Veritas, no big deal. Uh, we did get the AoE physical, so we're going to go ahead and mirage that this turn. Once all the auto casting finishes, let's go ahead and mirage with Veritas. Let's have Reagan on this turn just put up his LB, just because whatever. Uh, he might be busy next turn, is the reason I'm doing that. Let's go ahead and LB with our 2B. Let's have Sukiko. Do Karmic and then Friend Tsukiko, same thing. For some damage here. And we will go ahead and hit this up. Okay, so now we're below 50. Um, the Nethocyte stuff will be every fourth turn at this point. So, turn four, we are going to need the Nethocyte. So, we're going to Nethocyte you and Nethocyte you for both of them uh, to the base form with 2B, who is running out of mana, and this is actually a major problem. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. Um, let's deal some damage on the Sukiko, so we'll triple solar, triple solar. Okay, there we go. Um, man, 2B. Your mana pool is an unfortunate disaster. <laughs> oh boy. What are we going to do about that? I don't even know. Alright, so there's some attacks, you know, whatever. There's the Dispel. We nethocited it. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and SLB you for the break. Let's go ahead and reapply Fire Resist. Um, let's... LBU, and we'll do some Magnuses on you guys. Alright, so we're going to chain this up, and we're going to wait. Then send you in. Nice chunk of damage here. Hmm, somewhat, kind of, sort of. Uh, 33%, so we... I don't know what we're going to do about that mana on 2B. We can't use items. This is... This is very sad. This is very sad. Um, how's our imbue looking or our amplify? One more turn. So we're going to go ahead and deal damage again. Um, <sighs> 2B is the worst. We're just going to... Alright, we're going to... Really? 180. We're just going to guard 2B. We're not going to use an item. We're going to say we did all missions, or we're just going to guard her because 2B is the worst. Uh, with that stupid mana regen problem. Let's go ahead and needles. 
Um, Reagan can just like light breaker here, just have something to do. Sukiko, if I remember correctly, we had one more turn on the needing the imbue. So yeah, so we'll just deal some damage here. This is big sad face. Real big. Alright, um... So, we need Nepticite next turn, so we're fine this turn. So, let's go ahead and have 2B make me exceptionally sad as she does that. Let's have Reagan... Um, I think we need Needles at this point. So we're gonna Needles. Uh, let's have... One of the Sukikos go back to the base where we're going to Omamori, Light Imbue, and Protection. Other Sukiko will triple Solar, and we'll just have Reagan support chain it. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. This is going to be rough. We'll figure it out. Okay, so turn 12, we need to double net the site. This is definitely harder doing it this way, but definitely doable as well. Um, 2B will shift here and use her LB. Uh, this will be very exciting. Um, let's do Karmic. Friend will shift here, and we're going to do Karmic again. And we're going to chain this up. And that is the end of 2B because she has lost all of her mana. Which is a major problem because we're going to need that mana. So here's a double uh, double magic attack. So there's the counter for using Ash's STMR, Absorbed. And then the other attack will be Absorbed thanks to Reagan. The second STMR. And here's the Dispelga. Just absorb, but we're using double Ash's STMR. All right, now we're going to SLB the Reagan for the break. You know, wishing we had Kuja here because Kuja would make this so much easier. Uh, do that for the breaks. Let's have Veritas of the Flame. Um, how's our fire resist looking? Fire resist has worn off, it appears. So we need that. So let's go ahead and bar for Rega. Um, 2B has absolutely no mana and nothing, no way to restore it. Um, so we'll, like, chain one time and hope she gets some, <laughs> some, some, some mana crystals or something. Let's go ahead and triple solar. Let's triple solar. I could use an elixir on 2B. I'm not going to, because we're going to say we did all missions. And I absolutely should have given her some mana regen for this clear. My god. What a disaster with, the, with this 2B mana pool. Alright, let's go ahead and um, needles. Reagan can just triple bolt in here. Let's have you just normal attack, I guess. I don't even know what your normal attack does. Uh, you will Shining Karmic, and you will Shining Karmic, and we'll chain this up. Um, it's going to be super, super tight. Yeah, that's... That's hilarious. Um, okay, well, let's have Reagan and Veritas of the Flame hit the enemy and try to get a crystal drop for our 2B, who is very unfortunate right now because... She sucks. <laughs> she can't get a crystal drop and save her life. Um, crystals on two. Hey, we got it at least. Okay, let's go ahead and do the shift at LB because it, it does more damage. Um, because it has an it has an LB buff. The, the base form is better if you uh, do it in sequence, but we're not. So here we go and frog. Let's finish off this fight. So this was definitely harder doing it this way, mostly because I don't have Kuja. But uh, we did an all mission clear with uh, using this party. So, you know, way harder this way, but we got it done. 
So missions were 15 turns or less, party of five or less, no items. We never used an item if we had dropped an elixir on 2B or my mistake here, had geared her for mana regen because she has no mana regen whatsoever of her own. Um, we could have done it in probably 12 or 13 turns. Uh, but yeah, 2B kind of just like stood around for a while. But anyway, um, I guess that could show that you don't need a 2B as well geared as mine was because she wasted like three of the turns doing nothing. Um, so, Veritas of the Flame is on Carbuncle for the Bar Ferrega, 80% fire resist. The rest of the party is wearing 20 or better. Sword of Kings for power to destroy Nethesite to seal the Dispel. Um, this is a magical attack and will trigger Ultima. So you've got to double down if you're doing this. So we double down with both Reagan and uh, Veritas doing Sword of Kings. Now, if you have the manufactured Nethesite Materia, definitely use that. That will not trigger a counterattack, and you only need one. It's way more action efficient. Um, other than that, full evasion, pass or provoke. He doesn't need any fire resist because he absorbs it. Um, death immunity from Genji Shield. We're getting uh, equip hat, and the diadem is how he's getting the easy provoke evasion. He can't wear hatch naturally. We were using Equip Hat. Thousand Needles to give the party Mirage. And then, like I said, he's on um, Carbuncle for Fire Resist. Uh, Reagan is just a breaker. His LB is an 87 Defense and Spirit Break and a 140 Light and Peril. His SLB is an 87 Break and a 145 Light and Peril. So, really, the only thing he did was 87 Breaks and a 5% higher in Peril than 2B. Um, so he's not super critical here, and Kuja is dramatically better. Kuja gives you an 89 Spirit Break, making the Tsukikos deal way more damage, and Kuja gives you a 160 Light in Peril, causing way more damage. Other than that, just Mana Regen, um, and then a Sword of Kings. So we double downed on Sword of Kings for the Marat, for the Nethesite Ceiling. 2B in both forms are geared identical, very high attack power, very well geared. Um, the issue was she had no mana regen whatsoever. When she ran dry, she was out. I should have absolutely swapped something in here for mana regen. Um, so my mistake. Uh, but she has maxed on everything for DPS. Tsukiko in the shift form is just, you know, damage. And then tw uh, some fire resist, 20 fire resist, 20 fire resist or better. Tsukiko, um, just LB, I'm sorry, not LB, um, evocation damage versus uh, everything, because evocation. And she's maxed on everything, base form, kind of whatever, just some fire resist. And then Frog, the friend, um, you know, not super well geared, but pretty well geared, EX3. Um, so you don't need like a perfect Tsukiko. Uh, there it is, you know, not using any ruler's gear, and he's, oh, he's not 130, but still did very well and maxed on everything. So. There's the Dark Dragon without Olive, um, using not any manufactured Nethesite sources. And, you know, big shout out to uh, the friends that have built for me, and big irritation to 2B, who doesn't have any mana regenerative kit. That's such a stupid design decision. Um, there's a damage breakdown, so 2B, you know, is a really good damage dealer, and you definitely could have run a double 2B if you wanted to. Um, probably would have been better. Truth be told, double 2B instead of Sukiko, instead of double Sukiko, but whatever. There it is. So, hope it helps. There's another all mission. Barely, but we did it. Uh, see you next time.